so today I'm going to define a new script called character and player input and using those two scripts I am going to define a very basic type of moment input for the character like this so when I press a and D I can move the character to the left and to the right and when I press W and S I can move the character forward and backward so that's the part I'm going to cover today all right so now we have a camera attached to the player so we can look around like this but uh, I still can't do any kind of a movement for this character using keys input keys uh, so let's see how to do that today so first I'll create a script I'll call it character let me open this right so this is what we got when I open the character script so this uh, a script is going to be very important in our game so therefore I need to keep these things structured from the beginning so therefore um, instead of uh, getting the key input in the update and moving the character turned into them then and there uh, without doing it like that I think I should uh, define a separate script to handle user inputs and another script to handle character movement so like that I think I should do it in that way so here I define a new public method to add movement input so public void okay this must have to this vector 3 direction and float value so this direction will define what is the direction that we are adding this moment input and this value will define what is the uh, amount of force or the yeah uh, the magnitude of the input that we apply now oh, wait a minute I think I can make this simpler than this yeah let's do it like this float forward and float side all right right moment input so okay so here I'll define a private vector 3 now let's keep them also float forward input right input so by default these will have zero now I'll set forward input as forward and right input as right let me add a comment here update sorry update uh, moment inputs
now here well this is not the final version of the character's movement but for now I'll do it here like this uh, transform translate Vector three forward input, right input, and zero. Right now, if I go ahead and play the project, play the game, nothing would happen. Yeah. As you can see nothing is happening so what uh, yeah I didn't attach the character script as well so let me attach it first all right but it's still nothing would happen because we are not doing anything yet so let's create another script called um, prayer input and this should require a reference to this character so we can define it like this Require component type of character character class so. I should put it outside okay now in the start first I need to create a reference private character character and here let's initialize that to add <coughs> get component character okay so now uh, in here I'll add the player input and then in the update let me see what are the yeah here we have inputs defined so horizontal axis um, yeah so for the horizontal axis we have a and d and for the vertical axis we have s and w so let's use these two like this um, character dot add moment input input dot get axis horizontal and input get axis 
ready gak? Alright, so let's see what happens now. Okay, the way I imagined is wrong. So with the W and S I can move up and down and with a and T I can move left and right yeah that's wrong mm, let me fix it so yeah forward input so in unity y is the vertical axis so this must be zero and this must be the right input now let's try again yeah now i can move my character left to the left and right with the a and d and forward and backward with w and s so what uh, it doesn't look at it doesn't take into ac account like uh, what is the direction i am looking at at the moment or anything like that but uh, this is the basic form so we will look into the other part in upcoming episodes and also we need to work on we should prevent this character going through objects like this as well Alright, so that's all for today and thank you for watching. See you in the next episode. Goodbye.